people know of my work, but they don't know of me. I've always been under the radar. I'm not, uh, I'm not one of the, the glitterati photographers. When we laid the foundation that so, you know, I, I, I should do an exhibition, it was great. But with the library of pictures I've got, it was one of the biggest headaches I've had in ages. Um, I think if there was a voting system at this exhibition, the favourite has been Tony Benn out of all of them. Um, the, the shot was cracking, um, but he was also a genuinely nice person. Um, you know, did, no matter what so people's politics may be, um, he spoke an awful lot of sense. And she was a delight to, to photograph, I was very lucky. Um, there are varying stages of her breaking into a smile. I've chosen one just before and it's quite a quite a cheeky look and uh, I think it's, it's, it's enduring an awful lot of people. I tried to create an image um, that wouldn't have looked out of place maybe on a stamp or a coin and uh, I think I got it. It's, it's classic, um, it's very kind to um, the human image. Uh, we, we see colour around us wherever we go every day and we take it for granted. Um, it's been an interesting exercise seeing all these pictures and just standing back on visitors. They really look, they stop and look. I'm pretty sure if they'd all been in colour, we would cut the view time by at least two thirds. But the interest is, is, is been incredibly overpower overwhelming really. So I'm hoping that um, people realise that the, the, the value of a photograph, the emotion and memories those photographs carry you cannot under, under, underestimate the, the, the price or the value and the content of a good portrait of someone that you know.